At that time, Jesus said, O to you, Chorazin, O to you, Bethsaida, for if the mighty works done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it shall be more tolerable in the judgment for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You shall be brought down to hate. He who hears you hears me, and he who rejects you rejects me, and he who rejects me rejects him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in the love of Lord Jesus Christ, God is a great gift giver. He loved to lavish gifts on his creation, especially on us, the human beings the crown of his creation. Among the gifts that he has showered, one of the greatest gifts is the gift of freedom. God has bestowed his precious treasure of freedom to each and every human being. God regards the worth and value of this gift and God respects our as or no to this gift. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the day presents to us a classic example of freedom being lavished but sadly being squandered, squandered away by the people. The towns of Chorazin, Bethsaida and Capernaum were given the freedom and the choice to become the part of the Kingdom of God. But they chose to reject and refuse the saving message of Christ our Lord. My dear friends, the gift of freedom is a double-edged entity. I say this because the gift of freedom can be used to obtain life, the gift of freedom can be abused or misused to obtain death, the gift of freedom can be abused to receive troubles, and this can be used to receive blessings. This gift can be exploited destructively to acquire sadness. And this gift can be employed constructively to have or to receive happiness. The triple cities that we heard today in Gospel, Bethsaida, Chorazin and Capernaum, they fail to use, utilize or employ this gift of freedom and they rather abused or exploited destructively the opportunity that is given to them. And for such kind of people, Jesus has a words reserved such as O oh, to you and it is a word which is expressed out of pain according to the Greek context. Oh, when someone is in pain, they say this word. That means Jesus is grieved for the response or the behavior of these people belong to these cities. And there is a great deal of anguish amplified with a sense of pain. The Lord was pained that these cities received wonderful opportunity to hear the words of God, the saving message but fail to turn to God in repentance. The Lord was pained that these cities received exclusive occasion to receive God's salvific graces, but failed to turn to God in humility. Today, the Lord challenges us to make an examination of our lives too. God lavishes many graces on us, through regular chances to hear the words of God, through the Bible, through recollections, to talks, and in many various ways. But are we really making use of these chances? 
Are we using the chances to grow in our spiritual life or simply wasting away the chances that God gave us to listen to his word? Today he gives us two examples of these cities of Bethsaida, Chorazin and Capernaum. And he sets us before us and the example of Jesus condemning them is also before us. Dear brothers and sisters, as I said in the beginning, freedom is the greatest gift that God gave us. How are we going to use this freedom? Are we using this constructively or are we destructively uh, wasting away the freedom that God gave us? Are we going to use this gift to gain life, happiness and blessings? Or are we going to misuse this gift to receive death, destruction and sadness in our lives? So let us ask God to give us the spirit to discern what is good and to discern what is bad so that we may uh, worthily or we may make use of the freedom that God gave us in a proper way. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray for all men and women that they may heed Christ and respond to the call for conver conversion and renewal. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. 